first thing I'm going to do is jump into um, a gel extension. Now this is a really good way to extend the amount of paint that you have and make your paint go farther. Um, now if you guys you all know that I use golden paint and the reason that you can do this gel extension is because um, the golden paint has so much pigment in it. It's got a lot of pigment so we can extend it and make it make more paint from a little bit of paint. Okay, that's a good thing. Now in order to do that you want to use a gel or a medium that um, will dry absolutely clear because we're going to take gel or medium you can do this with several different things but we're going to take the gel and add it into the paint and make twice as much paint but we don't want to change the color okay so it's really important that you use a gel that's going to dry really clear the gel that I'm going to use is soft gel gloss I'm going to show that to the camera whoops right there so I'll turn it this way so you can see the label soft gel gloss from Golden. Any, um, any gel that says gloss on it will do the job. So you could do it with polymer medium gloss, right? Anything that says gloss. Now what's the difference between polymer medium and heavy gel gloss? Well this is thick like butter and this is thin like cream. So it depends on how you want the weight of the paint to behave. If you've got heavy body paint and you want to maintain the thickness of that, then use heavy gel gloss. If you've got heavy body paint and you want it to be a little bit thinner, put some polymer medium in it. And you know, if you've been in a lecture or a workshop or anything with me, you know that it's really hard to break this system. These acrylic gels and mediums and paints are all from the same basic chemistry and so you've got acrylic chemistry so you really can maneuver stuff around and push it and pull it and do stuff like that. So I could take heavy body paint and polymer medium and heavy gel gloss and mix them all together and make a mixture that way, okay? The only thing you want to be sure you do is make sure it says gloss, all right? Then everything will dry really, really clear, okay? That's uh, not clear. It'll dry, the, the color won't be shifted, all right? Um, now I'm going to go to the overhead camera and do this gel extension for you and I want you to take a look at what it looks like when I put that gel into the um, the paint. It's going to look like I'm adding white. Let's go to the overhead here. Okay, so we're in the overhead camera here and uh, I'm going to get a handy plate, my handy styrofoam plate. And here's my heavy gel gloss. So I'm going to put some of that out. And here's my Pyrol Red. So I'm going to put about 10% Pyrol Red into that and mix it up. Now see when I add that Pyrol Red to the gel, it feels like I'm adding white to the paint, right? But see the gel, even though the gel is white in the jar, it's going to dry clear. So I don't want that to, um, I don't want you to, to feel like you're adding white to the paint, okay? So here I am, I've got my mixture. Now what I have done is because I've only got about 10% paint here, I have changed, whoops, my phone starts ringing in the middle of everything. Um, I have changed the transparency of the paint. So the paint's going to be a little more transparent. Let me come back over here to the camera and talk to you. Um, the paint's going to be a little bit more transparent because I've added that gel to it. There it is. I've added that gel to it and I've changed the transparency a little bit, um, but I've only got 10% paint in there, okay? So what I'm basically doing is making a thick glaze. So let's go back to the overhead camera and I'll show you what I mean. So here's my gel mixture. I'm going to get a piece of paper here so I can spread it out for you. 
get a little space here on my table. I'm working in a tiny studio now at home. This is my satellite studio. I'm calling it my satellite studio. This isn't my big messy studio. This is my video studio. So <laughs> it's tiny and I'm not used to that. Um, okay, so here, whoops, I didn't mix it up very well, did I? Okay, so this guy right here, when this guy dries, you're going to be able to see through it. And I've got a dry board over here I'm going to show you. See this right here? So that's what that's going to look like when it dries. Let's get that up to the camera so you can see it. Let's go side by side like that. See that? Put it that way. You can see it looks like it shifted a little bit in color, but it's, it's going to dry back clear. So now if I come back to my mixture here, that is 10% um, paint, and I'm going to put about another 50% paint in it. Now you can see that the color doesn't look like it has shifted as much. The color looks truer to what it to the way it comes out of the tube. Okay, I'm going to try. I'm I'm kind of trying to push this difference. I want to load that up just a little bit more. You don't need to load it up this much but um, with paint, but I'm going to load it up because I'm not sure that the camera is going to be able to see the difference. So I want to kind of push this so that you can really see the difference between that 10% gel, I mean 10% 10, 10 paint and 50-50 uh, paint. So let's see if you can see that. I hope the camera's picking that up. This one should look a lot lighter than this one. Not really sure the camera's grabbing that, but when you do this at home, you'll be able to tell. Now, um, this one that's 50-50 on this side, this is just like the paint from the tube. Once you get that um, gel, once you get 50% gel uh, paint into that gel, you don't need to put any more paint in it. You're just basically wasting paint if you do that. Okay, so 50% gel, 50% paint, that's going to get you heavy body paint kind of bang on. You're going to get it just the way it comes out of the tube. And then this is a 90% gel, 10% paint. This is like a thick glaze. This is going to be transparent when it dries. And here's the real stuff right out of the tube. So there you go. That's a basic gel extension. Now, why do we care? Why, why do we want to do this? Well, if you do this gel extension over here 50-50 on a routine basis, you are going to save yourself about 60, maybe 70 percent um, at the checkout stand. This is going to save you a lot of money because gel is paint with no pigment in it. And so this has no pigment, so this is relatively inexpensive. So you can get a lot of gel and a little bit of paint and make a lot of paint, okay? Do you get me there? All right. Caroline, hi, how you doing? Um, Yolanda says she's using ex it to extend paint. Yolanda wants to know, can you do the same thing with gel and fluid acrylics? You betcha, you betcha. So if the, um, if the polymer medium is gloss and the gel is gloss, both of these uh, will work to, to extend your paint. And in fact, just, just about anything um, that is a gloss medium or a gloss gel will extend your paint. Now there's a couple of, uh, of gels that Golden makes that I wouldn't advise you to use to extend your paint. One of those is clear tar gel. Now you guys know how much I love clear tar gel, but the thing about clear tar gel is that it has that very long stringy consistency and if you put too much paint into it you will um, break that stringy consistency okay so pay attention to that that's one thing you don't want to put too much paint into and that's clear tar gel all right mm -hmm.